Today, we're exploring caves, coves, and caverns, as well as sinkholes and cenotes. Not only are these hidden parts of the world beautiful, they also contain some superb wildlife. The stage is set for underground greatness, so sit back and enjoy some of the most spectacular secret spots on planet Earth. This is Deep Blue Discovery. Coming up in this episode, an underwater world inside an underwater world. But first, drones tend to give us a new perspective. That's why the best way to discover this hidden beach off Mexico is from the sky. This hole was created by aerial bombing during 20th century war games. These days, it has a much more peaceful existence. Canada's Bacon Cove has a similar vibe, but it's even more chilled. Only a drone could spot this top secret pool inside an iceberg. It's a natural phenomenon caused by erosion, ice cold, but somehow still tempting. Now this cove has been dubbed the secret pool of light. Sounds like something out of Assassin's Creed. You can find it, as these kayakers did, off the coast of Northwest Ireland. But you have to leave early in the morning to see the sun perfectly aligned with the lagoon. You can find hidden pools in the strangest of places. In a cave in Shark's Cove, Hawaii, this diver found an air bubble. When it was filmed from the outside, it looked like a sea within a sea. It really is incredible what you discover in the deep blue. From an underwater lake to underwater fog, This foreboding atmosphere might look like a horror movie set, but it's actually created when hydrogen sulphide gets trapped between fresh water and the sea. Set your scuba lights to high beams. If you found that fog creepy, you would not want to run into this. These white tip sharks were spotted huddled together in a small cave off the coast of Mexico. Predators like this are common around reef habitats, but seeing dozens together in one place is not normal. In a cave off the coast of Gato Island in the Philippines, a hermit crab and a decorator crab are engaged in a tug of war. The hermit appears to be winning but the decorator has a plan. He's eating as he fights, so he'll have his fill no matter what. This protective mother was spotted in a little cave off the coast of Melbourne, Australia. It's a cuttlefish and she's not letting anyone get close to her eggs. You can see her babies hanging from the cave ceiling the mother fish is changing colour, possibly to warn off the diver. Still to come on Deep Blue Discovery, one of the world's largest river caves and the mysterious bells hidden inside an ancient world. But first, the world's largest sinkhole. Belize's Great Blue Hole is 125 metres deep and 300 metres across. It was made famous by Jacques Cousteau. Now people travel from all over the world to experience its true deep blue.
Belize's Blue Hole might be the largest, but Dean's Blue Hole in the Bahamas is probably the deepest. This cavity reaches lung-busting depths of 202 metres. No wonder famous freediver Sachiko Fukumoto is climbing away from its edge. Some Mexican sinkholes are known as cenotes. They occur when Yucatan's limestone bedrock collapses. Here, freediver Marianne Adventuria is exploring a shallow cenote, surrounded by crystal clear water and some sweet aquatic creatures. The El Zapote Cenote is world famous. It has its own collection of underwater bells. The geological structures are formed thanks to a certain chemical process that takes place inside the sinkhole. Interestingly, the remains of an extinct giant sloth species were also discovered on the floor of this sinkhole. Finally in Laos, there's a majestic river cave called Tam Khun She. And we're kind of back where we started, because the best way to see this one is by drone. Cenotes, sinkholes, caverns and coves always come accompanied by mystery. That's why we decided to showcase just a few of the planet's hidden water worlds. Whether it's hell's bells or battling crabs, there's something to see inside all of these secret environments. Thanks for watching Deep Blue Discovery. We hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll be back with more water worlds and wildlife next week.